Half guard. One of the coolest things about half guard to me when you're on bottom is there's so many ways to expose your opponent's back. Uh, one thing I think that you'll see, uh, one trait you'll see over and over again with people who get back exposures or get effective back takes uh, from bottom half is mobility. They're moving, they're not hugging very long, um, and they're committed to, the, to whatever they're trying to do. There's no um, indecision. They're very programmed. Partner does, opponent does A, I do B kind of thing. There isn't a lot of waiting, that sort of thing. Uh, that just takes time to drill and rep and kind of figure out what is right for you. But if you, I want you to know that when you're playing half, there's so many back attack options. Um, when we're playing half, one of the biggest things is what? That I do not give up this underhook. When I give up this underhook, Al flattens me out. None but hard times. So a lot of times this elbow is closer to center or up high, uh, effectively framing, but I'm doing everything I can to deny the underhook. And if it's in tight, like sometimes you'll see people like this kind of posture, our buddy has to switch his hips. You'll see a hip switch coming a lot of times when I'm defending the underhook and defending the head cradle, he switches his hips over. When he does, all I want you to think about is you're going to keep your frames holding him down as much as you can or pushing him away. Today we're going to be holding him down. So as he switches, I'm just going to hold this here. Now I'm in a bit of a risk. Can you move your uh, left arm out of the way, put it behind you? Your right arm, I'm sorry. That kneecap of his, I want to hide it. He's trying to expose it. I want to keep it, uh, stay over it as long as I can. But the fact is, is I cannot bind myself up and hold myself up here. Remember when I said there's a decisiveness that goes on and we act right away? So what you're going to see is you're going to pinch. You're going to try to slow that leg's extraction, but you're not depending on that leg's extraction uh, to be stopped. So once he switched his hips, I got the belt grip, I'm pushing down, I'm going to get up on my side. I go to bump him over. As he drives back in, I expose my knee and I hit the skate out, exposing his back. He may pull his foot up. It actually helps you in the move. So you'll see when they switch their hips, they're trying to get this foot out. Boom, they try to take it out. If you just don't stop, it works out. Half guard. He stretches his hips and gets to my side. Pull your foot out. It doesn't matter. You still have that exposure. As long as when they switch, you get the belt, you get on your side, you start to threaten the hip escape. I'm sorry, the bridge. You threaten the bridge. You hip escape, free in your knee, and you start turning to expose the back. Hope this helps. Whenever you're in half guard, uh, always defend the underhook, defend your face, look for those back take opportunities.